Hey, what's up? This is Jason, and this is just a short video on the Positive Grid Bias FX plugin. So I've noticed on some forums that people are having a problem with hearing crackling in their guitar tracks. So I was just working on a song, and I have the Bias FX on six different tracks, and uh, I noticed the same thing. So the first couple of things that you can check out is in your DAW, whichever one that you're using, uh, in Logic, you hit Command and Comma, and that will bring you to your audio preferences. And one thing to check is the IO buffer size. So the lower the buffer size, the harder it can be for Logic, at least, to keep up with uh, real time with all of the plugins that you have. So there is another advanced option for Logic where you can actually set a threshold and it will disable plugins if um, Logic isn't able to play it. So one thing that you can do if you are getting some crackling is to increase your buffer size. I normally have buffer size uh, down to 32 and then I turn on low latency mode and uh, when I'm tracking and then I increase it to 512 or even 1024 when I'm in final mixing stage. So that's the first thing that you can check, um, which didn't solve my problem. So that led me to poke around within BiasFX. So in BiasFX, you can adjust the output settings uh, within the interface. So down here, there's an option for output settings. And this is where you can mess around with the preamp, the tone stack, the power amp, and the cabinet. So you can turn all of those on and off and you can adjust EQ compensation for each one individually, depending on which ones of these you have checked. So by default, these are all at unity. So they're all at zero, if you will, uh, or right in the middle. And I'm going to play the one uh, guitar here on the left, and you'll hear some of the crackling in a few of the parts. So it's pretty easy to hear some of that uh, crackling. And uh, what I did was just process of elim elimination. So I turned all of these off. Well, first, if I turn the power amp off, you'll notice the crackling goes away right away. Obviously, the tone will be different. So the crackling is gone right away, but it doesn't have the same kind of meaty tone. And you can notice the input volume is getting close to zero dB. Um, so it's a pretty hot input signal. So if you turn the power amp back on and you can play with your EQ settings here, what worked for me to get rid of it was to just lower the resonance uh, on the power amp and take uh, some of the high end off the power amp as well. So here's how it sounds. So it's gone. So now if I enable the second guitar that's panned right, I have the exact same problem. So you can hear some of the crackling there too. So if I turn uh, these down as well, Let's enable both of those, go into the stack power amp, turn on EQ compensation, turn this down, turn this down, and voila, it should be gone. So it's gone and the input on the right guitar is definitely not as hot as the uh, second guitar 
that I played, it's peaking around negative six dB. So in whatever DOD you're using, I know in Logic it has a CPU monitor here as well. So that is something else that you can check. So the three things are check your buffer size, um, check your CPU usage. So if I just hit play on this, uh, and you'll see up here at the top, the CPU meter. So the CPU load isn't that terribly high. If I turn on all of the guitars, the clean and the heavy ones, let's see what the CPU load looks like. So the CPU load is pretty low, but you can check that as well. But for me, it was in the power amp settings. So hope this video helped you out and I'll see you on the next one.